now are we one with him who is our source. We can change the world today if you acknowledge the gifts your father gives and you're receiving them and your acceptance of them and giving them away. You want to exchange all the suffering of the world for all the joy this very day can bring. Practice in earnest and the gift of joy and peace and happiness is yours. Would God deceive you? Can his promise fail? Can you withhold so little when his hand holds out complete salvation to his son, complete happiness, complete peace? Have faith today. Your practicing will bring rewards so great and so completely different from all the things you sought before that you will know that here is your treasure and here your rest. Now are we one with him who is our source. Let all your vain imaginings part like curtains to reveal the love that lies beyond them, made visible and clear. All shadows drop away. You let Christ's vision rest upon the world today and let him judge everything through his vision. And in his judgment will the world unfold in perfect innocence before your eyes. Now will you see the world through the eyes of Christ. Now is it transformed. Now are we one with him who is our source. You accept this day as sacred and your vision gives you everything. This vision comes from far beyond the world and it looks on everything with a new light. And what you see becomes the healing and the salvation of the world. You can save the world today. Put all your value in the love of God, which shines on everything with love, overlooking all fear. Nothing is to be feared anymore. We will not judge today. We will receive what is given us from judgment made beyond the world. Now are we one with him who is our source.
be thankful today. Your practicing brings your complete release from blindness and from misery. All that we will see will increase our joy because its holiness reflects our own. We stand forgiven in the sight of Christ, with all the world forgiven with us. We bless the world, and as we behold it in the light in which our Saviour looks on us, and through that reception of light, we free the world through His forgiving vision and not our own. Now are we one with Him who is our source. Now, this very instant, we come to look upon what is forever there, not in our sight, but in the eyes of Christ. He looks past time and sees eternity as represented there. He hears the sounds the senseless busy world engenders, yet he hears them faintly, for beyond them all he hears the song of heaven and the voice of God more clear, more meaningful and more near. The world fades easily now before his sight, 
Let the sounds grow dim and listen for a melody far beyond this world which becomes increasingly more and more distinct. Now are we one with him who is our source. Hear now this ancient call which you have come to answer, to receive and give. This answer to your father's call to you. And from within you, Christ answers for you, echoing yourself. accepting your deliverance for you. How quiet is the time you give to spend with him beyond the world now? How easily are all your seeming sins forgot and all your sorrows unremembered? On this day is grief laid by for sights and sounds which come from nearer than the world are clear to you who will accept the gifts he gives. Claim them now. Now are we one with him who is our source. There is a silence into which the world cannot intrude. There is an ancient peace you carry in your heart and have not lost. There is a sense of holiness in you, the thought of sin has never touched. All this today you will remember. Be faithful in your practicing now. So great are the rewards, completely different from all things you sought before. And you will know that here your real treasure is. And here you rest. Now are we one with him who is our source. Now are we one with him who is our source.